Scheme C, support to employers. This employer-focused scheme will cover additional employment in all sectors. All additional employment within a salary of 1 lakh rupee per month will be counted. The government will reimburse to employers up to 3,000 rupees per month for two years towards the EPFO contribution for each additional employee. The scheme is expected to incentivize additional employment of 50 lakh persons. Participation of women in the workforce. We will facilitate higher participation of women in the workforce through setting up of working women hostels in collaboration with industry and establishing creches. In addition, the partnership will seek to organize women-specific skilling programs and promotion of market access for women SHG enterprises. Skilling program. I'm happy to announce a new centrally sponsored scheme as the fourth scheme under the Prime Minister's package for skilling and collaboration with state governments and industry. 20 lakh youth will be skilled over a five-year period. One thousand industrial training institutes will be upgraded in hub and spoke arrangements with outcome orientation. Course content and design will be aligned to the skill needs of industry and new courses will be introduced for emerging needs. Skilling loans. The model skill loan scheme will be revised to facilitate loans up to 7.5 lakh rupees with a guarantee from a government promoted fund. This measure is expected to help 25,000 students every year. <laughs> Education loans. For helping our youth who have not been eligible for any benefit under government schemes and policies, I am happy to announce a financial support for loans up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic institutions. <laughs> E-vouchers for this purpose E-vouchers for this purpose will be given directly to 1 lakh students every year for annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount. Priority 3, inclusive human resource development and social justice, saturation approach. Our government is committed to all-round, all-pervasive and all-inclusive development of people, particularly farmers, youth, women, and the poor. For achieving social justice comprehensively, the saturation approach of covering all eligible people through various programs, including those for education and health, will be adopted to empower them by improving their capabilities. Implementation of schemes meant for supporting economic activities by craftsmen, artisans, self-help groups, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, and women entrepreneurs and street vendors such as the PM Vishwakarma, PM Swanidhi, National Livelihood Missions, and Stand Up India will be stepped up. Purvodhya, the states in the eastern part of the country are rich in endowments and have strong cultural traditions. We will formulate a plan, Purvodhya, for, all round, for the all-round development of the eastern region of the country covering Bihar, Jharkhand, 
West Bengal, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. This will cover human resource development, infrastructure and generation of economic opportunities to make the region an engine to attain Vikasit Bharat. On the Amritsar Kolkata Industrial Corridor, we will support development of an industrial node at Gaya. This corridor will catalyze industrial development of the eastern region. The industrial node at Gaya will also be a good model for developing our ancient centers of cultural importance into future centers of modern economy. This model shall showcase Vikas B, Virasat B in a growth trajectory. We will also support development of road connectivity projects, namely, one, Patna Purnia Expressway, two, Baksar Bagalpur Expressway, three, Bodh Gaya, Rajgir, Vaishali, and Darbanga Spurs, and four, additional two-lane bridge over River Ganga at Baksar at a total cost of 26,000 crore rupees. Power projects, including setting up of a new 2,400 megawatt power plant at Pir Penti, will be taken up at a cost of 21,400 crore rupees. New airports, medical colleges, and sports infrastructure in Bihar will be constructed. An additional allocation to support capital investments will be provided. The requests of Bihar government for external assistance from multilateral development banks will be expedited. Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Our government has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Reo recognizing Recognizing the state's need for the capital, recognizing, a, recognizing the state's need for a capital, we will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies. In the current financial year, 15,000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years. Our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the Polavaram Education Project, which is the lifeline the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers. This will facilitate our country's food security as well. Under the Act, under the Act, Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act, for promoting industrial development, funds will be provided for essential infrastructure such as water, power, railways, and roads in Koparthi Node on the Vishagapatnam Chennai Industrial Corridor and Varavakal Node on the Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor. An additional allocation will be provided this year towards capital investment for economic growth. Grants for backward regions of Rayalaseema. Prakasham, North Coastal Andhra, as stated in the Act, will be provided. Jadi apanon ko amma video thi bhalla kila, tebe amma channel ko like, share, or subscribe karipa ko jama bhi bolon to nahi.